welcome to um today's look um i think that by the name of the title you can already figure out what this is um it's my go-to fall look i am a fall baby um i was born this month i will soon be turning 21 um in a couple of weeks towards the end of the month and um obviously i have an extreme bias for this month it's like the best month of the whole entire year in my opinion just because my birthday is in it hello i have already started celebrating not um as you will be able to tell in the rest of the video it is not a whole face tutorial so no i'm not gonna bore you with the same foundation and the same bronzer and all of that nonsense um my face is already halfway done by the time this video will start as you will see shortly um this is mostly like an eye tutorial and um so yeah let me stop rambling because i know i could get off topic real quick especially with a couple things that have been bothering me but that will be contents for a separate video um but yeah guys um make sure to subscribe to this channel um so that you can stay on top of when i post and like this video to show me that you like the video and that i should keep doing more videos like this and without further ado let's get into the look i hope you like it thank you so much um for your support and um, and thank you guys so much for watching and to the video Okay, so as you can see, my face is already pretty much done. Not done, but you know, I only need a couple of things and the face is like besides the point right now. But um, I have primed my eyes with the um, Urban Decay Naked, Co Naked Concealer in the shade Light, I believe. I will list it down below. And then I set my eye with Golden Ochre in the Anastasia Rena Modern Renaissance Palette and it's this shade right here so now we're gonna go in um i'm gonna take my morphe g17 brush and raw sienna and rub that all over the crease and almost to the top of um, my eyebrows Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to go in with my GOC Precision Crease Brush, which looks like that. And I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange, so this shade right here. And I'm going to try to keep that over the crease, like on the brow bone, like, no, not on the brow bone, like mostly on the crease right under the brow bone. You just, you just watch. I got you. You're going to notice with each color that I keep stacking upon the other one, um, it's just going to go slightly below the previous color. So you want to get it on top of the previous color, but not all the way to the top. Now with my Morphe M330, which looks like this, I'm going to go in with the... Um, Shade Railgar, Railgar, however you say that. Oops, my bad. So I'm going to be going in with this shade in my Morphe 330 brush. Again, on the crease this time. So on this line and just a little bit above. This is why I chose kind of like a pointed blending brush. And I'm also going to want to bring that in slightly into like the inner corners of my eye, just like that. And then wing it out. Because like as you have been able to see, 
in the past few days I have not been doing um, eyeliner or eyelashes so this is like my technique so when like on the days that I don't feel like doing that I just wing out the shadow all right so this is what you should have by now and then I'm going to take my Morphe 433 brush which looks like this and I'm gonna go in with um, Cypress Umber all over the lid so this brown and I'm gonna try to avoid um, the inner corner where the orange is at so I'm gonna just want to stop like right before and then just blend it all in with a clean brush we're almost done now with a little tiny pencil brush and for this I'm using my Morphe E36 brush looks like this I'm gonna go in with real girl and then on top of that I'm gonna go in with um, Cypress Umber okay so this is almost the final look um like I said I have not been wearing eyeliner or eyelashes this would however look so bomb with like wispy eyelashes are like real full like not the ones that are like clumped up let me see if i can pull one up see for a look like this i would use um tigress from house of lashes or anything similar let me just pull it out for you no i'm not gonna put them on <laughs> So I know one is like just fell but can you see how it starts off like in the inner corners are shorter and they just wing out it would be so perfect just to like give you that lifted eye effect it would be so amazing um but yeah um I wear this to go to school or I wore this to go to school and I got quite a few compliments and I was feeling so special you guys like hello obviously but um i do not consider this a daytime look unless you're like unless you don't care like me like hey by all means <clears throat> go ahead and do that so um i think we still have to do lips and for this i love to use dolce k from the kylie cosmetics okay Now to finish off the eye, again with Modern Renaissance palette, um, all the shadows are from here. Um, and my Morphe R41 brush, I usually like to go in with, um, what is it, Vermeer. So this one on the inner corners and this one to highlight the um, like right under my eyebrows. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And so there you have it. And then I just think I need to highlight my face and I'll be all good. You know what? I'm just going to use this one. It's easier to reach. Okay, so using my Dose of Colors fan brush <clears throat> and my Becca um, Champagne Pop Split Pants or whatever it's called. It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush champagne splits in case they couldn't have you know thought of a longer name that one is like good enough but yeah taking this i'm just gonna put that here now what's that no just and so yeah guys and there you have it this is the finished look um this is what i was wearing 
on the day i believe the day that i did the um time out wednesday last time so that was the day that i wore this and i got plenty of compliments in school and i had two family members ask me to do the tutorial and so if you're watching here it is um i was thinking about doing i don't know if you guys um would like this idea but i was thinking about doing one eye modern renaissance palette and the other eye um the morphe 35o palette because i know for um i was shooting for my lookbook that i'm trying to get out before my birthday um i know i had a different variation of this i used all the same colors except in different places so i'm still thinking about doing that let me know in the comments or wherever you want to let me know just let me know if you want to see that where i would do like one eye with the modern renaissance palette and the other eye with the morphe palette um but yeah guys thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching and um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time guys bye